God's will is what I want. God's will is what I want for your life. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want for your life. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want for your life. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want for your life. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want. God's will is what we want for your life. God's will is what I want. God's will is what I want. God's will is what I want for my life.
know it's not right, that's the way you go in the wrong direction. But hold on and trust in God's will and let him reign in your life. You'll see the difference. You'll see the difference how he's going to bless you, how he's going to take care of you, how he's going to take care of your family, yes. how he's going to take care of your friends. Yes. He's going to make your enemies your footstool. All right, now. He's going to take care of everything in your life. You don't have to worry about nothing because worry and trust can't live in the same house. All right, now. You got to, you got to trust God. So one of them got to go. So you're going to trust God and put worry in the door. Tell him you got right. to go. He's not going to be a part of your life. As long as you keep that trust and have God will in your life and let him reign, I promise you, God promise you, everything is going to be all right. All right now.
Come on, say, give me one. Give God a hand clap of praise. That's okay for me, but what you want to do, I want you to give God a hand clap of praise. Not me. Joys are flowing like a river since the comfort turn has come. He abides with us forever, makes our trusting heart its own. in the house. Oh, we ought to lift him up this morning. God's given us another time to worship, uh, to give him all the praise and all the glory. I don't know about you, but I come to lift him up. I come to glorify his name, uh, for it had not been for the Lord. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> Somebody say, it's right, right. That's right, Reverend. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? David 
said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, and our feet shall stand within thy gates. O Jerusalem, somebody say amen. Amen again. Ah, amen again. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Spring Branch. So good to see you today. God is moving by his spirit. We're going to call on um, Reverend Ernestine McAllister, who will lead us further in worship. Good morning, Spring Branch. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and that his mercy endures forever. Our scripture this morning will be coming to us from Reverend um, John Chambers, and our morning prayer will be by Minister Veronica Mathatter.
Lord. Go with me to the book of Colossians. Book of Colossians, chapter 2. Verses 6 and 7. And it reads as thus. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Let me read this again. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, you, so walk you in him. Amen. 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 Verse 7, rooted, rooted mm. and built up in him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And established in the faith as ye have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. My God, my God. Mm. God's word for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> oh, holy and wise God. Yes, yes. It's in the name of thy precious son, Jesus. We come before you as humble as we know how. We come to you, Lord Jesus, because all that we need is in you this morning. Yeah, yeah. We come as empty pitchers before a full fountain, asking you, Lord Jesus, to fill us with all that we lack. Lord, we lack love, understanding, kindness, compassionate, Please, Lord Jesus, we pray that you turn our listening ear this morning and hear us, oh Lord. We come to you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you're able. We come to you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you can. My Heavenly Father, we ask you to help us to be examples in the neighborhood, in the community, wherever you would have us to be. To let our light so shine that the world can look on us and just know that we belong to you. And all that we do is in the name of Jesus. Uplifting your holy and mighty name. For you said when we do this, Lord Jesus, that you would draw all men. And Lord, we know that thy word is true. We ask you, Father, to look on the little children. Because, Lord, they stand in need of examples. And, Lord, they're going to look to us. And we ask you, Lord, to help us to be all that they would want us to be. That they don't mind come asking. Lord, we ask that you look on our sick and shut in this morning. Because you are the great physician. You have never lost a case. You can do what doctors and medication cannot do. Lord, we know that you're able to raise them up on their feet, Lord, if that be your will. Lord, we need to seek you for your will. Lord, we need to find out what your will is. Because only in your will will things be answered. My Heavenly Father, we ask that you look on Spring Branch this morning. Look on every auxiliary. Lord, the deacon board needs you this morning. We ask you, Lord, to strengthen them. All that they lack, we know that you have. We ask you, Father, to look on the deaconesses. We ask you, Father, to look on the usher board. We ask you, Father, to look on the congregation. Oh, God, just bind our hearts together in a band of Christian love. And help us to be one heart, one mind in Christ Jesus. Because your word said we are one body in Christ. Help us, Lord, not to operate separately, but help us to operate together in love and compassion. Yeah. And Father, we come bringing our beloved pastor and first lady before you this morning. Asking you, Father, to keep them dipped down in your well of salvation. Let them not want for any good thing. 
whatever they need, Lord, we know that you're able to provide. And we ask you, Father, to help them to be a mighty force in Spring Branch. Going forward, teaching and preaching your word with power and authority. That someone may hear and want to find out what's going on. That they may want to be a part of Spring Branch. Because Spring Branch is a mighty force in Wagram. It's been standing for a long time. And it's going to continue to stand for a long time further. Oh God, we thank you this morning. Because you bring us through so much. And Lord, we can't do nothing but say thank you. I thank you this morning for my family, for my husband, my children. I thank you this morning that I have a God that I can call on in times like these. But we are living in perilous times where it seems like men and women just don't want to do right. But we know that the devil is a lie. Because God's word will go forward. God's word will stand. God's word is real this morning, saints. All we have to do is get in it. All we have to do is believe it. All we have to do is receive it. And then when we receive it, Ask the Holy Spirit to help us to understand it. Oh God, I thank you this morning for your love and your compassion in my life. Oh God. Asking you, Father, to keep me that I'll be able to stand. For I am a willing vessel, your servant, to do it as you see fit. My Heavenly Father, let your will be done in every life under the sound of my voice this morning. And continue to bind us all together in a band of Christian love. And my Heavenly Father will be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. This and all sincere prayers, I do pray in Jesus' name, now and forevermore. Amen. chambers for our scripture and also thank you minister McFadder for our morning prayer at this time we will have our welcome and announcements by sister Sonia Swan following our welcome and announcement we will have the pastor's moment and following the pastor's moment we will have the deacons update amen amen, amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Spring Branch Church family, Facebook, 
and YouTube family and friends. If you have not already done so, please like and subscribe to our channel. At this time, I would like to recognize any visitors that we may have with us today. If you're a visitor and would like to stand, you please stand at this time. If you do not wish to stand, thanks for joining us. Welcome to Spring Branch Missionary Baptist Church. We consider ourselves blessed to have you worship with us and are excited that you're here today. We hope that you will enjoy the service, so much so that you will come join us again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. 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 I have some cards. First of all, I want to thank my church family for the love, gestures, and prayers that you extended to us in our loss of our sister, Villouis. And thank you for visiting her before her transition. She enjoyed your visits and prayers. And I will have a card, the Spring Branch Light Ministry and Kitchen Committee, touched by your goodness and lifted by your kindness. Thanks for everything. May God bless you all of all, may God bless all of you. Love the Hines family and to the church family. Thank you, Spring Branch Church family. We deeply appreciate the kindness, support, and love you've shown us during this difficult time in the loss of our beloved sister V. Your endless prayers and kindness will always be remembered. Praying the Lord bless you, your giving heart in abundant measure. Love the Hines family. And now for the announcements. Bible study will be on Wednesday, October the 19th, 2022, beginning at 12 o'clock noon. Virtual Senior Missionary Meeting will be held on Saturday, November the 5th, 2022, at 9 o'clock a.m. Call in number is 1-351-888-7975. Choir rehearsal off on Saturdays at 10 o'clock a.m. Virtual Incessory Prayer will be on Saturday, November the 19th, 2022, beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. The call in number 135 888-7975. Pastor Rana Terraferro will be available by appointments only after 5 p.m. Monday through Friday for office hours. We have some additional... Uh -oh. Oh. Our annual Women Day service will be held on that Sunday, October the 22nd, during the 11 o'clock morning worship. The guest speaker will be our very own First Lady Minister Karen Talaferra. All women are asked to wear their white with pink accents. All are asked to give $25. If you are interested in singing on the Women's Day Choir, please be here at the church Saturday morning, October the 22nd at 10 o'clock for choir rehearsal. Um, please continue to pray for and visit our sick and shut in. Remember to report any known sick, shut in, or hospitalized individual to the deacon ministry so that we can add their names to the list. I have some. Okay, before I give the uh, pastor thought, um, I have some additional announcements. You are cordially invited to help us celebrate the 90th birthday of Mrs. Laura McNeil, Sunday, October the 16th, 2022, the time 2 to 6 p.m. Encouraged to be on time, location the Spring Hill Fire Department, address 27860 Aberdeen Road, Marston, North Carolina. Gifts. She's turning 90, so there isn't a physically thing that she wants, but you can never have too much money. Amen. Monetary 
gifts are welcome. Amen. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> Yesterday is here, a gospel stage play. Uh, it's Saturday, November the 19th, 2022, 6 p.m. Show, uh, the tickets are $30 at anwellsenterprise.com and Eva Bright. The show location, she Seabrook Auditorium, Fayetteville State University, 1200 Murchison Road, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And this is additional information. Dr. Arlene Wells, the daughter of Sister Mildred Wells, uh, has written and produced the gospel stage play. Yesterday is here which is coming to Fayetteville, North Carolina at Fayetteville State University. Yesterday is here is about a mother and a wife who is torn between the life she once had and the life she is now forced to live. This heartfelt play will have you laughing, crying, and celebrating life. It is coming to the Seabrook Auditorium on the campus of Fayetteville State University on Saturday, November the 19th, 2022, beginning at 6 p.m. The general admission is $30 plus $345 fee plus $234 sale tax, which gives your grand total of $35.80. The group tickets, 15 or more people, $25 plus 316 fee plus $1.97 sales tax equals $30.13. Please print out and bring your ticket with you. Everyone would need a ticket to enter the building, including children. No children are permitted to sit on laps. Okay. Uh, additional announcement, Nazareth Missionary Baptist Church is having a prayer breakfast for Clergy Appreciation Month on Saturday, October the 22nd at 9 a.m. Tickets are $10 per person. We would like you, like your members to come out and join us. Your pastor and first lady will be seated for free. Please contact Ms. Tanya Washington at 910-683-4332 and let us know if you will be able to come out and help us celebrate. Total, the Total Women Outreach Ministries presents their 2022 Women and Girls Conference on Friday, November the 4th, beginning at 7 o'clock p.m. Workshops will uh, continental breakfast and lunch are scheduled for Saturday, November the 5th, beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. Please see the attached flyer for the list of speakers. We look forward to seeing you. And they have a flyer that will be back in the uh, with the list of um, conference speakers. Okay, now, happy sixth anniversary. Jubilee Christian Center um, will be celebrating their sixth elder George H. Purcell and senior pastor First Lady Victoria Adano Purcell. They want you to join us as we celebrate God's grace and blessing at 3 o'clock Sunday, October the 30th, 2022 at 25020 Nazareth Church Road, Wagram. Reverend Willie J. Carthens is the afternoon worship leader. Now, may I have the uh, pastor? Pastor Reverend Dr. Tyler Ferry thought for the week. With God's power working in us as a church family, God can do much, much more than anything we can ask or imagine. Now unto him that is able to do it exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, without end. Amen. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. Thank you and have a blessed day. Amen. Amen. 
thank the Lord for those announcements. We ask that you would govern yourselves accordingly. First of all, we'd like to say good morning to uh, the live audience here in the sanctuary. And we thank God for the live audience on Face and the Book. And we also thank for you and two. Amen. I'll get that right one of these days. But we want to say good morning to you. And uh, I'm trying to figure out which camera to look at. Oh, that one back there. Amen. And I want you to know that we are here for you. Amen. And we invite you to take a visit to worship on Sunday morning. Uh, and, and I thank God that we can reach more than thousands, amen, amen, across the airwaves and the television waves. And so we thank you for tuning in to us today. And we're just going to continue in worship. I just want to uh, 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 just say to the uh, uh, church that uh, uh, Dr. Arlene Wells, uh, daughter of Sister uh, Mildred Wells, amen. I believe they're a part of this church. And this particular uh, play at Fayetteville State University, let's support that. Let's go in a big way and to show our love and our, our, our support to uh, the work that they're doing. And uh, I love plays, amen. Uh, yes, indeed, amen. We went to all the way to Pennsylvania to to uh, Sight and Sound Theater, and you haven't seen a play until you go to Sight and Th Sound Theater. And uh, possibly later on down in the, in the agenda, we will get a big old bus, get up on that bus and ride to PA. Amen. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good little ride, but we get there. Hallelujah. And you will be blessed with that play. We also like to um, uh, let you know that this afternoon we're going over to uh, uh, Mother... Um, uh, McNeil's uh, birthday uh, celebration. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm anxious to meet her and, and to uh, share in her birthday notes. Amen. The prayer breakfast that we're going to be attending where the uh, the, the young lady said that it, it's free, amen, for pastor and, and, and first lady. But I, I don't know if it's free for everybody. <laughs> but uh, when she said free, I looked up, hallelujah, amen. And that'll be, uh, we're looking forward to that. His tickets are $10 per person. Those that can go and meet us over there for pastor's appreciation or clergy appreciation month. And that's this month. And I thank you for your, all of your love shown to us and I believe that's about it but next Sunday we're going to have a, a, a special uh, guest preacher in the house amen, amen. and uh, I happen to know this preacher hallelujah amen and uh, uh, the the women's committee uh, approached her and we got a flyer going out looking like that yeah hey, huh? my picture is real small her picture is real big okay. on the flyer amen let's say amen for first lady minister amen. talia farrow amen. and she's going to bring a powerful message on next sunday i get a chance to just sit back amen right. hallelujah i like to sit back days amen <laughs> i'm going to get out of the way here i believe i've um, said everything that i need to say Thank you for your prayers. Uh, God has blessed us and, 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 and healed us. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say, the young man on the drums over here, this is my nephew. Amen. Amen. My, my uh, 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 twin sister's son. Amen. Uh, but I, I, I told him he's my son too. Amen. 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 And he's subbing in for um, our, our regular drummer today. And I want you to give him a good round of applause. Uh huh. And we we we're both from uh from from, from Philadelphia. Hallelujah. Where did he go? Here it is. And, and uh, on on his finger, he got one of these. All right. Uh huh. This is this uh, Eagle Championship oh. ring. Amen. Ah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off before it flies and hits him. Amen. But uh, uh, this evening, there's a showdown on the TV. And I guarantee you, I will not preach too long so you won't get to that uh, 8 o'clock um, uh, football game. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. We're going to move on with worship.
And uh, if I have forgotten something, the Lord, uh, f uh, you know, charge it to my head and not to my heart. Amen. Deacon Hines is here. God bless him. We, we praise God for his, his family and we uh, continue to extend our, our uh, heartfelt sympathy to them. And um, we thank you for being here today, Deacon. Good morning, Spring Branch. Uh, before I start, I'd like Ms. Gosen to come up. You have an announcement. Thank you, Deacon Hines. Uh, Ms. Warren really covered the Women's Day uh, announcement that, that, that I have. Uh, we did ask every woman, please invite a member of the church that hasn't been here in a while. So if you invite a, a, each member, each woman of the church would invite another woman and bring to the church on Sunday. And don't forget, the Democratic Party banquet is October 27th at the Highland. Thank you. Amen. Excuse me, just one moment, Deacon Hines. To the ladies, amen. I want to see this choir stand full next Sunday morning. And those who are home watching, amen, come on to church. Amen. Come on to church. Amen. That we could, uh, I, I know y'all can sing. Amen. So it's your chance to sing, and we're going to get it together on Saturday. Uh, I officially, um, as of today, have 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 um, have joined the male choir. Amen. Watch out, man. <laughs> Are we looking good in our beige? <laughs> That's why you saw me sitting over there. But God is good, and He's worthy to praise. Deacon Hanks. Once again, we would like for you to continue to pray for our sick and our shutting in. And I also like to reiterate uh, the thank you uh, from the church. I always say Spring Branch is the grandmother church. And Spring Branch, you act like a grandmother. You took care of your children. Thank you all, each one of you, for everything you did. Uh, we really appreciate that, and have a nice day. Amen. Amen. Spring branch is offering time. All right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And let us not forget that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. We ask at this time that the trustees would come forward and that we would follow the direction of the ushers.
Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, God. We thank you, God, for an opportunity, Lord, just to come out to your house and to worship God. Lord God, we ask God that you would just bless the offering, God. Lord, bless those who were able to give. Lord, make an opportunity for those who were not able to give today, but to give on another day, God. Lord, we just want to thank and we want to praise you, God, for who you are. Because you alone are worthy of all the honor and the praise. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All things come of thee. we can be fed from on high. So after the next selection, we will hear our pastor coming forward with the word of God. Amen.
Thank you, God, for the anointing today that you're pouring fresh over this place. Oh, God, thank you right now. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Songwriter wrote a, a song that kind of leads into my message today, and I just want to just drop it on you. Hallelujah. I'm just going to drop it on you. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me.
declare the dance floor is open. If you got something to shout about, you need to shout right now. But I needed that moment. Hallelujah. He's been real good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise God this morning. Uh, we, we, we're not going to hold you long. The, uh, the, the, the eagles and the cowboys are going about it tonight <laughs> so I got now until tonight to finish this message <laughs> amen I'm so glad to see a deacon friend of mine who I had the blessed opportunity to share in their wedding and so good to see you two here today all the way all the way from of the Fayetteville area, amen. That's all I can think of right now, <laughs> hallelujah. Well, we're so glad to have you in worship with us uh, this morning. The scripture was read from the book of Colossians chapter two. And uh, I wanna focus on two of those verses. Verse number two, uh, verse number six, and verse number seven. And it says, as ye have therefore received Christ, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Lord have mercy. And then verse seven says, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving right there will hold us for a short moment as we bring you this topic from on high prayed over it all week long and it wouldn't leave me alone so I said, okay, God, I'll let them know. Amen. Uh, the topic is a fresh vision for discipleship. And I asked the question, are you walking, who are you walking with? And who are you talking to? Who are you walking with? And who are you talking to? Yes. Yes. And so, in moving about in this work called church and evangelism and saving of souls, that's why we're here today, amen, so that we can be encouraged to save others through our witness and through our walk in Christ. And I come to give a, 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 an announcement this morning from on high. God is watching how we walk. Come on, man. Yes, he is. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. God knows where we have come from. And he knows, my friends, where we are headed. Because he's already prepared that place for us. Uh-huh. He, he has made... Uh, and, and, and the Bible says mansions. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, I, I look at my house and I, that's my little earthly mansion. But when I envision a mansion, I believe everything that needs to be will be there and more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, these materialistic things are going to fade away. And, and he said he has many mansions. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Yeah. And, 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 and he is going to deliver us from where we are now. But here in the scriptures, we find a, uh, an announcement there. It says that we receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And it says that we need to uh, 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 walk and be rooted in our walk. Uh, since I moved south, I have noticed a lot about the uh, trees down here. Uh, I have a tree that sits right in front of my house, uh, Reverend Gil Chris, and uh, 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 lightning came and split that tree straight in half, and then it stopped before it took the whole tree. So we're sitting there looking like this. And the other morning when I came out, that tree is still standing. And the vision of that tree split open. Uh, 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 the Lord said, victory. Victory is a big fee. I said, victory. Victory is mine. Victory is yours in Christ Jesus. And if that tree was not rooted and grounded, it would have fell over by now. But guess what it's doing? It's regrouping. And, 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 and if I was tall enough, I would go up and cut off the bad part of the tree that looks like it's not going to do nothing. But keep the tree looking like a V. But uh, 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 God knows if you are grounded and rooted in Him. Uh huh. You're gonna pray with me, aren't you? Huh? Uh, I don't know about you, but when I was a child, many people would come up to me and say, "What do you want to be, or who do you want to be when you grow up?" Amen. Anybody in here grown up? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, some of us may have answered that question. I want to be a fireman. Uh -huh. I, 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 I want to be a professional athlete and play for the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, uh, I, I, I want to be a, 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 a teacher and teach in the school district. Uh, I want to be a doctor uh, able to help people, Lord, and, 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 and help them when they're ill. I want to be, I want to be, I even might want to be a preacher, amen. Uh, if God so would it, I want to might be a pastor. God has allowed that to happen. I might be an evangelist or a truck driver or a teacher. Uh, the list goes on and on and gone. Most of us over the years, as you've grown up, have changed the agenda of what you want to be. Some of us still don't want to be nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll sip a little tea on that. Some of us may not, uh, haven't decided what we're going to be. And you're doing nothing. And God is still asking you, when are you going to grow up? <laughs> well, in this message today, I would like to focus on the last part of that question, which is when you grow up, what are you going to do? Let me drop in on the spiritual side of this topic uh, of growing up. 
First of all, spiritually, we need to understand the meaning of discipleship. The meaning of being a disciple. When you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you are a vehicle to be a light to somebody else that's lost. Uh huh. Uh, 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 and, and, and a lot of people don't know what they is. <laughs> Excuse my bad English. Uh, 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 so some of us don't know what you is. Uh, you is, but you ain't, and you ain't because you're not, because you're not, because you don't, and you don't, and you won't. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, in the New Testament, the word disciple means a learner or a follower. Uh -huh. Can I teach you a little bit this morning here? Yeah. Yes. After understanding the definition of being a disciple, we should know and learn that a disciple is one who talks with God. Yes. One who prays our Father. Yes. One who grows in his relationship with Christ yes. on a daily time frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How dare you get up in the morning and don't say thank you, Lord, yeah. if you're a disciple. Yeah. How dare you sit down at the breakfast table and God has provided you food that you don't ask the grace of God on it and thank him for what he's doing if you're a disciple. Amen. How dare you, how dare you even come to church and say, I come to have church today and you don't even know what church is all about. I know there's nobody up in here like that, amen. When we come to church, we come to give God all the praise and all the glory. We come to say, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, God, for giving me health and strength. Thank you, God, for the blood running warm in my veins. Thank you, God, for making a way out of no way that I'm able to do what I need to do for you. Thank you, God. Anybody got any thank yous up in here? I'm not going to hold you long. I'm not going to hold you long. But, but, but we got to understand the disciple is not a pew sitter. Yes. Let me go back to my teaching. Yes. When you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, uh -huh. you turn your life over to Christ. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. And then he has things for you to do. Yes. We got too many church members that all they have is their name on the road. Digging high, they ain't doing nothing. And God is saying, get up. Yeah. Off of that pew. Yeah. You have gifts that I've given to you. Share your gifts. Yeah. So the building of Christ in the hearts of lost men and women and boys and girls will be full. Yeah. Hallelujah. Of the opportunity to miss hell and crown him in glory. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe I have anybody up in here that wants to praise him with me to join. But, but, but what we need to know, that discipleship is not just a title. Amen. See, a lot of us want to be called deacon so-and-so and pastor so-and-so and, -so and evangelist this and prophet that. It don't mean nothing if you don't got Jesus in it. Don't mean a thing if you're not representing the body of Christ. It don't mean a thing if you don't pray. If you don't read your Bible. If you don't study the word. If you don't say, yes, Lord. You say, I'm, I'm a crazy, crazy pastor. Amen. Uh, uh -huh. I, I came up from the noisy side of the Baptist church. Hallelujah. Because my grandmother, she was, she was Pena and Acostal. Hallelujah. Uh huh. She, she would make the dust fly from the piano and preach you silly. Amen. So I come to tell you all today that disciple means that you got some fire. You ought to say something in the house of God. Hallelujah. 
I remember I went to a, 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 a funeral in a Catholic church. And uh, I was sitting in the back. Uh, a good friend of mine had passed, and they were having the service. And, and, and the priest said something that hit my tune. And I said, thank you, God. And it echoed all over them. <laughs> the people turned around and said, what in the world is wrong with it? Nothing wrong with me. When I hear the gospel, <laughs> when I see the power of God moving, I got to join up with it. Oh, Lord. Let me, let me take y'all back. Let me take y'all back when y'all were out there on the dance floor. Amen. Uh -huh. When they played your song, you were in the sitting position. But when the song came out on the dance floor, you grabbed your boyfriend or your girlfriend or you just be all by yourself. And you went boogie woogie all over the dance floor. But when we come to church, we ain't got no movement. We ain't got no praise. We ain't got no shout. I'm telling you, if you truly got the Lord in your life, you got to praise him in the worship experience. You got to tell God, I love you, Lord. Oh, because you first. <laughs> Love me, Lord God, have mercy. Let me hold up, let me hold up before I'm moving too quickly. Oh, my, 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 my. We should learn that the disciple is one who not only talks and prays with God, but acts like you are saved. One of the worst things in the world is for somebody to say they know Jesus and they out there doing everything that you're big and bad enough to do. Do I have to go down the list? <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I grew up in a family that went to church. My aunts and uncles and my grandmother and, and grandfather and all, they all went to church. And one thing, the Lord just hit me. The one thing that bothered me about them when they left church, they went over to the uh, to, to the club. <laughs> uh, uh huh. Yeah. I said, "Well, y'all going over to the club to, 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 to grab some booze." Amen. <laughs> Amen. Fire water. Yeah, right. Amen. And, and then they, they, then then after they've gone there, they try to get back home and can't half drive because they're so drunk that they can't even see the street yeah. how in the world can you say that you are of Christ and you acting like a heathen acting like you ain't got no good sense demonically possessed messed up torn up and God has fixed you up. Well, there ought to be a change in your walk. There ought to be a change in your talk. There ought to be a change in your flavor. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this one thing. I worked in the restaurant when I was a teenager. And uh, it was a good restaurant. They had some good steak and some good baked potatoes and 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 uh, even had some collard greens on the side. Hallelujah! Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was so good. But I, there was one part of the meal that I could not understand, and that was sour cream. I had never tasted sour cream, and uh, I waited on this this elderly couple, and the lady said, "Put some sour cream." on my potato, please. And I looked at her and said, why do you want to do that? Why in the world you will put something sour on a potato? She said, you ain't had no sour cream, son. You ought to try it. 
Amen. And so I went back into the kitchen and grabbed a small baked potato. I opened it up, slapped it on some butter, and I took the sour cream and I put it on it with chives. I didn't even know what chives were, amen, but the little green things. And, and, and I cut that thing in, in four or five pieces and I picked it up, put it in my mouth. I said, oh my God, look what I've been missing. <laughs> Uh-huh. And so I ran back out to the table. I said, Madam, I tried the, the sour cream on the potato in the back, and it was so good. And her husband began to laugh. Now look, now, now look at this. He has not laughed in three years. She told me he had not, he, he, he just was sitting there, and, and just that part of, of me knowing, getting to know what sour cream is, it came across that it hit his funny bone. And he started laughing, and, and he said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You don't know what sour cream is. I said, no, nah, I do know. He said, oh, this is the funniest thing i ever seen. Amen. And that couple, when they left, amen, they slapped a hundred dollar bill on the chip. Ooh, that's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why I always, when I take sour cream, I think about that hundred dollar bill. I picked it up and I ran out. Hallelujah. After them, they had took off. Uh, amen. Uh, well, so I'm giving you a chip this morning, church. Yes. You ain't taste nothing <laughs> until you taste the flavor of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Come here, Hebrews 10, 22. Talk to us a little bit about what I just said. It says, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an, from an evil of conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. That means there's a change in your life. Hallelujah. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Nothing worse to see a Christian wavering. Nothing worse to see a church compromising God's word on what God has put down through uh, the work of, of the saints and, and, and of the elders. Amen. Uh, the father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Old Testament and the New Testament was placed there for our growth. Yes. Oh, Lord. And then it also says it's not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as a manner of some ease. See, some people have some ism religion. Sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not. It's called what time of the day it is. I is saved. When I come to church on Sunday morning. But when I walk out those doors, I'm just as mean and messed up. Well, that means you haven't tasted the real sour cream. You need Jesus. And to our Facebook and YouTube folk, let me tell you one thing. I'm not saying anything bad about reaching you. I'm glad that I'm reaching you. But the Bible says, uh, not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together as a matter of some is, uh, but exhorting one another as so much the more as ye see the day of, the day is approaching. What day? Hallelujah. The day that Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Oh, God. As I move on here, just as it is true in the physical world, growth in one's spiritual life requires food and exercise. Yeah. Hey man, how many of y'all exercise? <laughs> I got to get back to a more, more, more active thing of exercising, amen. But, but one of the things you find out when you stop exercising, you get weak. Yeah. You can't do nothing. Yeah. Just be sitting there. Yeah. I dare you to start exercising. Yeah. I dare you to start walking. 
I, I, and you know one way to get you going? Uh -huh. uh, put on a good gospel jam, hallelujah, in your house and praise him all by yourself, hallelujah. And, 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 and do a workout for Jesus every day. So it's time for physical growth in our spiritual life. It requires food and exercise. We need to be connected with a power source uh, on a daily time frame. Uh, have a meeting with God. How many have had church meeting at home? <laughs> yeah, how many get, get happy in your car? <laughs> When you got the right gospel number on, amen. Yeah, I was sitting at the red light the other day and, and I looked over, the lady was in that other car and she was just giving God the praise and everything. And I wound my window down, I said, what you shouting about? He's been good to me. <laughs> yeah. So you can, you got, if you're connected to the power source, you will praise him. Yes. Praise him in the morning. Yes, Praise him at the noonday hour. Yes, Praise him in the evening hour. Yes. Praise him. Don't, uh, matter of fact, I've grown old enough in the uh, in the in the Word of God now uh, in my walk with Christ that it doesn't take much for me to shout. Uh -huh. It doesn't take much for me to to to, to get happy. Uh -huh. I, I can get happy, Lord, just talking to somebody on the phone. <laughs> I can get happy just talking to my wife sometimes, amen. Uh, thinking about how God has been so good to us, uh, how he's blessed us uh, to see our children grown and they don't have children. Uh, how he is blessing us right now, how he has sent us here to do a work for him. So there's three things and I'll let you alone. Three things. Look at your neighbor say, he said three things. <laughs> First of all, in order to walk and talk with the master, you got to know him. Yeah. Thing number one, walking and talking with Christ has a beginning. Amen. Say, in the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> and number two, walking and talking with Christ involves action. Amen. Somebody say, he said action. <laughs> Walking and talking with Christ uh, uh, brings about positive results. It produces results. Those are the three things. Now, let me just dig a little bit deeper with them. Number one, walking and talking with Christ has a beginning. Come here, Colossians 2. Ha <laughs> Verse number six. And ye have therefore received Christ uh, Jesus uh, the Lord. So ye walk with him. Walk ye in him. Walk with him every day. Walk with him in the evening. Walk, 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 walk. You are walking with Christ. Yeah. And not only are you walking, but you're walking because you're rooted and you're, you're built up in him and established uh, in the faith uh, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Amen. So how do we do this, Pastor? Let me tell you, I'm glad you asked me. First of all, uh, uh, the, the beginning is to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody in here have not received Christ. And that's why we're here. Jesus. To help you get it. Amen. Receive Christ as Lord and Savior. That's the beginning. Uh, uh, as ye have re therefore received Christ uh, the Lord, so walk ye in him. We hear the message of the gospel recorded with repentance and faith. Um, let me tell you something here. You can't walk with Christ until you have received him as Lord and Savior. Well, You're walking against Christ. Mm. You're walking with the prince of this darkness world. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Uh, the question is, have you received Christ as Savior? This is the first step that you have to have to take in order uh, for your life to be changed and all of your sins of yesterday, all of your sins of tomorrow, all of your sins of today are wrapped up and tied up with the forgiveness and the power of Christ uh, who died on an old rugged cross and shed his blood. Uh, hallelujah. I'm so glad uh, I don't have to worry about my sins of yesterday. Uh, my sins of today. 
and my sins of tomorrow because God in Jesus hallelujah paid the price for the penalty of sin by the shedding of his blood Which brings me to my second. Jesus. Second one, and we're almost done. Walking and talking with Christ involves action. Uh -huh. Amen. There ain't nothing worse than a dead church. Tell the truth. Oh, I ain't getting no amens over here. Let me go over here. Yes. Ain't nothing worse yes. than a dead church. That's right. Lord have mercy. Yes. I remember the story of a blind man who came into the worship service. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he sat in the back of the church. Yeah. Yes. And what did he do? Way back then. Yes. And he knew the presence of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, when the presence of God passed you by, slaps you on your mouth, you got to say, Amen. Amen. When the presence of God slaps you in your feet, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you got to do, huh? yeah. yeah. When the presence of God hits you in your mind, uh -huh. all you can do is raise your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, the service was going on and the blind man, he began to feel the presence, but nobody else was doing nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Then he took out his <laughs> cigarette lighter. He said, I carry my cigarette lighter around with me to remind me how God has delivered me from smoking cigarettes. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I'm not saying that it's bad, but he took out his cigarette lighter and he, he started flashing it and fire came out of the cigarette lighter and the deacons got upset. They thought this man is a danger problem because, uh, hallelujah, he might set somebody on fire. <laughs> well, he was saying, I feel the fire burning deep in my heart. He told the deacons, that's why <laughs> I flash my lighter. <laughs> when we feel God, <laughs> it's like fire. <laughs> Shut up in your bones. <laughs> hey. So number two, we got to have some action. That was his action. Bum -bum. <laughs> well, my action is I just sing because I'm happy. <laughs> I sing before I was free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Colossians 2 and 6 says, As ye have received Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, so walk ye with him and in him. And then I hear the Ephesians writer coming in here, talking from Ephesians 4 and 11. He says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists yes. and some pastors yes. and some teachers yes. for the perfecting of the saints uh, for the work of the ministry uh, for the edifying of the body of Christ uh, in order to walk with God uh, you gotta hear that preacher uh, you gotta hear that prophet uh, you gotta hear that pastor uh, you gotta come to church uh, Hallelujah, but make sure huh, that the pastor is on the right train. Don't you know we got a lot of pulpits filled with people who don't know nothing about God? They're just putting on a show, hallelujah, because they know how to make somebody shout. I can't make nobody shout, but only the Holy Ghost can make you shout. And guess what? Oh, I declare right now, anybody want to shout up in Spring Branch, uh, you got the liberty to do so uh, because God has blessed you uh, because you are walking with him uh, and you're talking with him. Oh my God, for the perfection of the saints, of the work of the ministry, the edifying of the body of Christ. Make sure the preacher is preaching of Christ crucified, buried, and, and resurrected. Yeah. 
I don't know about you, but I've heard some sermons on the mighty uh, TV ministries that are out there. And some of the ministries I'm hearing, they ain't never got to Christ being nailed to a cross. They never said about the blood running down from the cross. Uh, they never said they nailed his feet to the cross. Uh, and that he died and went down into the grave. Uh, and on the third day got up. Uh, I want a ministry to remind me uh, that if it had not been for Jesus. In my studies, according to Dr. Thomas uh, Berlinger, uh, writings in the 2007 edition of Preacher's uh, Source Book, he says, coming to know Christ is wonderful, but it is only the beginning. This new life involves action. Uh, we, as a body of Christ, uh, must live in constant fellowship with Christ. Uh, for the branch of Zion to continue to grow, we must be consistent, uh, and we must have those conversations uh, with the King of kings and the Lord of Lords. What are you saying, Pastor? We got to continue to work hard for Christ. Yes. Yes. And as we go to point three in my closing, walking with Christ and talking with the Master not only brings about the action of our response, but it brings about results. How many of you have had some results from serving God? Results. Uh, we're coming to the time of the year where we celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of that good stuff. And you can ask my wife this time I get in the kitchen and grab the turkey by the leg and swirl it around and throw it in the pot, cut up the onions and put them inside. The, you know, onions will help that turkey taste better. That's right. Put a big, big, big onion inside that turkey. Amen. Amen. And, and, and get your good meat tenderizer and get it all fixed up. I know, I do it. Hallelujah. Get those yams uh, 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 on the table. Uh, uh, boil those yams, cut them and cut them up and put them down in the pan. Get your 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 nut and egg and your cinnamon sugar and, and and you just cover those yams and throw it in the oven. And hallelujah, don't work, forget about the greens. Uh, hallelujah, wash them good and cut them up and take the greens and, and mix them up with with some good good. I use turkey meat now, turkey uh, 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 meat and, and and I put it in the in in in, in, in those greens. And, and, and those greens start smelling up the house. Uh, amen. And when the family come over, they know it's Christmas uh, because they can smell the aroma. That's the results uh, of doing a right menu. Some of us, hallelujah, don't have the right menu. If you don't know how to cook, get out of the way. Put somebody there that can cook it. Hallelujah, but our thanks be to God that we know that we have some results in serving him. Till we all come in unity, Ephesians 4, 13 says, uh, the unity of, of faith uh, and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statutes of the fullness of Christ. Uh, that we henceforth, come on here, uh, be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Uh, it's time uh, for us to grow up. <laughs> And what are you going to do when you grow up? You're going to work the works of him that has sent you. While it is day, uh, well, the Bible says night is coming uh, when no man can work. Uh, in my conclusion, uh, let me just ask this question. Uh, uh, how are you uh, in your walk as you, you started walking years ago? Uh, has there been any change uh, in your communication with God? Uh, you ought to be growing. 
growing up. Uh, you ought to be walking and talking. Uh, you ought to be preaching. Uh, preaching what, Pastor? Uh, preaching that Jesus uh, came down through 42 generations. Uh, Jesus, uh, hallelujah, God sent his son uh, that we might have a right uh, to the tree of life. Uh, Jesus uh, walked the streets of Jerusalem, uh, healing and giving sight to the blind, uh, making the lame get up and walk. Uh, Jesus uh, brought about results. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I thank God that he's brought about results uh, in my life. Uh, he picked me up uh, when I was down. Uh, he turned me around uh, when I couldn't see my way. Uh, he placed in me uh, as a little boy. Uh, I remember I was on the youth choir uh, singing in church uh, on Thanksgiving Day. No, uh, it was Good Friday Day. Uh, I heard the preacher preach uh, that Jesus died on Calvary. I heard the preacher preach uh, that they whooped him all night long. I heard the preacher preach uh, that they scorned him uh, and they upset, hallelujah, the matter of his physical, hallelujah, of the uh, appearance. Uh, you couldn't recognize Jesus uh, when they put him on the cross. They nailed him as a little boy. I heard God speak to my heart and said, you need to get up there and say, God, forgive me for my sins. Lord, I want to be saved. I want to be baptized in the name of the Father and the Son. I turned around. The pastor was standing in front of me. I fell to my knees. And I said, Lord, help me. Forgive me. Oh, God. And the pastor said, stand up, little boy. Do you understand what you just did? I said, yeah. You said that God said if I give my heart to you, to God, he said, I declare you saved, sanctified, fire baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. That's why I preach the way I preach, because I know that God can save us. He we got them now. That's the end of Jesus. Well, I come to give you good news today. Early. Early. Baptist preachers like to say this when they get to this part of the sermon. Early. Mary's baby, Lord have mercy, he got up out of the grave, yeah, and he went, hallelujah, out of the grave, the stone was rolled away, and early salvation came to earth, if you would believe, if you would only believe. But what am I saying this morning and now this afternoon? We need to be serious for Christ. Amen. Amen. And if you don't know him, 
if you never accepted him as your personal savior if you never say come Lord into my life hallelujah we invite you right now right from your seat yes you may be young maybe a little boy a little girl because uh -huh. I found Jesus when I was young uh -huh. hallelujah I'm trying to be young now but I'm getting old but I thank God for the years that he's allowed me to know the results of giving my heart to Christ if you're here today, I want you to get up out of your seat right now. Yes. Come down this aisle and ask the Lord to save you. So when you depart from here, because we're all going to go, but where are you going to wind up? Without accepting the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, you will wind up in the pits of hell. That he sent to the depths of my soul. Make heaven yes, Lord. As we stand to our feet. Completely, yes. If you're here, my maybe soul. Maybe a teenager. Let's come on to the altar. Let's pray for you. 
for a fresh vision of discipleship. Let it flow into the crevices of this church. And Lord, we know that you will draw all men unto thee. God bless you as we get ready to dismiss. Please keep yourself in connection with God. Let your guards down in this season. I've, I've gone out to Walmart and all the other stores. And people don't wear masks no more. But you know one thing? God allowed us to come upon us to let us know that He is in charge. Watch him. I already feel it. It's already passing by. Amen. To everyone that has seen this broadcast today, pray for Spring Branch. Yes. We hope and pray that you have been blessed today. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Benediction. Now to him who is able to keep us from falling. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all sing together.
Amen.